Okay, so uh, after the winter, this is basically on the south side of our garage. We noticed that the snow melted first here. And so we identified this as having a really good microclimate, which is why we rototilled the grass up. Uh, we sheep mulched it and we planted the squash into it. Now, we actually kind of expected that the soil was not going to be that great here uh, because it's not great anywhere on the property. And that's partially because of the disturbance pattern as well as the amount of rain that gets deposited here. We're in a pretty wet zone. And so when you have lots of water, you end up getting a lot of leach, uh, leaching going on in the soil. And we talked about that in some of the previous videos about nitrogen deficiency and trying to uh, increase the uh, nu nutrient density in the soil, <clears throat> which is going to be an ongoing challenge, but uh, I've got a pretty good sense of how we're going to do that. So in this first half of the garden, we rototilled it, and I don't know if you can see the pink flag in the background there, but we put that same eco-growth material on this side of the garden. We didn't go very heavy, but um, it's made a huge difference because these are actually growing, the other ones look like they're about to die. They're just yellow and sickly. Um, they're not very healthy. And, and so once again, this stuff has shown to be full of nutrient. And I think I probably could have even gone heavier on it than I did. Um, and so just take a peek at, like this, this thing's super happy. We're just starting to get into um, the hot part of the season and this is actually gonna produce. Um, and then as we kind of go on, we must have used less of the material. So now that we've got some sickly ones, we're going to do two experiments. Um, the eco-growth material is good when you're starting your garden out because you can kind of put it down dry and over the season the microbes and the bugs will start to mobilize it and move it around. But now we're kind of halfway through the growing season. And so I want to try another experiment. So you come, come on over here. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, and so the first one we're going to try is that same material and you might be wondering like why is Rob so obsessed with this? Why I keep talking about this material and whether I'm getting paid for it and I'm not. I get it for free. I'm a little bit obsessed with waste materials and so whenever I can get access to a free waste material there's a potential opportunity there uh, and that comes back to that principle in permaculture. Uh, waste is just an unused resource. Um, I often say in my students in the permaculture design course that if you can find a waste stream and find a way to put it to productive use, you've got a potential business opportunity there. And the purpose of the business opportunity is not to make piles and piles of money necessarily, but to find a right livelihood. Um, now for me, I want to grow crops. I have a need for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. I know that that is a weak link on this property because of the amount of rain we get here. And so I'm running trials for eco-growth to see if we can use this material in some other way other than combusting it. And so I've been thinking a lot about this stuff since it's been sitting on my farm. My dogs are always eating it, so I want to get rid of it. I want to put it into the soil in whichever way that I can. And I've clearly proven now that this material is having an effect on these plants. And so I want to find if there's another delivery mechanism. One of the other delivery mechanisms we're going to experiment with is worm composting. So we're in the middle of building a worm composter right now. Um, so we're going to run this through the guts of worms and then put the worm castings out there. But I want to see if there's a more direct way to apply it to the garden. So I've got a bucket of water right here. I've got this eco growth material right here. And just to remind you, if you didn't remember what this is, basically eco growth goes around, picks up food scraps from the city of Calgary. They dehydrate it and then it turns into this, this dried material here and they have an unlimited supply of it. And so we're looking to see if we can actually sell this stuff to apply to gardens, potentially. So I am gonna do something I just thought about this this morning and I wanna give it a go. We're gonna put a bunch of this into the water and we're gonna mix it up. I have no idea how much to put in. I mean, I should have probably measured it, but I've got it nice and brown here. So I'm gonna add the um, this whatever this stuff is, this water and emulsion, uh, water and, and eco growth powder to the to each of the squash and see how it affects the soil. And I'm gonna add it to all the squash plants uh, to the right or to the east of that flag over there. Well, that's a bit much. 
Okay, so I've got all this emulsion left in here. I don't want to put what I just did there on all of the squash, so I'm gonna get some more water, and um, I'm gonna make another batch, and then add it to all these squash plants that are to the east of that flag over there. I've applied this stuff to all these plants now, and um, I've got a little bit more of that stuff in the bottom. What I'm gonna do, because it's basically just pure nutrient, is I'm just gonna rip back the, the mulch here. You can see it's been pretty wet. This mulch is sopping wet, which is because we've had so much rain. I'm just gonna add it in there. Hopefully the dogs don't find it. They probably will. I'm gonna mix it up. That will compost because whenever you add nitrogen or nutrient basically and carbon, you get compost. And we'll watch this over the next few weeks and see if these plants green up and start to improve and see if the, the microbes in the soil start to consume this stuff and release it as plant available nutrients. And so we'll do another video in a few weeks and report back on the progress and see if it's a decent delivery mechanism for uh, delivering this nutrient to these plants. Just an experiment. For all I know, these plants could all die, but uh, I've got a hunch that they might not. So anyways, if you found that interesting, um, I'll leave a show or a link to EcoGrowth's link in the uh, show notes below. I'll leave any comments or questions you've got and stay tuned for the results. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.